sometimes there's a psychological side as well because you meet yeah. people who have been adopted mm -hmm. and they sometimes or oftentimes they can carry a lot of emotions um, unresolved issues of why mm. would my I've heard mm. the story but yeah. I just want to meet my um, parent like in this situation it sounds like it's two sisters so there will be mm. a family connection anyway sure and you know these these things happen where people uh, uh, you know a child will go and live with their aunt because say the mum can't afford it but they yeah. know that's my mum and this is my aunt but my auntie brings me up like um, she loves me like I'm her own child sure and she sure. doesn't have children this happens uh, in many cultures but yeah w when people are adopted by strangers and, and you know, at a young age, and they all, uh, they only knew these people <coughs> as their parents. And when they was ten or whatever the time, the parents decided to actually sit them down and say, you know, we're not actually your biological. We love you all the same, but we're not your biological parents. You know, people like this can go through a lot of sure. psychological problems and traumas. Yeah, yeah. Ac actually, Islam says clearly in Surah Al Ahzab, "Udu'uhum li abaihim." Call the children you adopt by the names of their fathers. Brothers, yeah, yeah, so yeah, unfortunately, yeah. sometimes when we adopt or we foster children, we change their names. Because my surname is this, I'll give this surname to this particular son or daughter. That, according to Islam, is not allowed. Quran says clearly call them by the names of their fathers. So the idea of this young boy or girl, when he or she grows up, and comes to know that, oh, you know what, even my surname is not this, my surname is another one. This causes trouble and problems. So keep the name of the father, biological father, then it will not cause any problems. Of course, the son will ask or the daughter, why my name is this and this family, their name is mm. this particular. Eventually, uh -huh. he will come to know. Uh -huh. So there's a kind of hick 